Hello everybody, today I'm going to take you through step 11 of my Adobe Edge Animate tutorial. So to begin with, we need to make sure we've got our background image locked into place, like what I have here, and then we need to check that our rugby ball has been converted to a symbol, which it has, and if we double click into the symbol, you should also have these keyframes here, which means if we move the playhead, the rugby ball should be rotating like this. So to begin, we'll go back on to our main stage. So step 11a, we're going to click on the greyed out toggle pin in the timeline section. And we'll notice that it's now active because the toggle pin has turned into a blue colour and also a little blue pin has been added on the playhead. So step 11b, we're going to move the playhead to 0 0.75 seconds. Like so. And step 11c, we're going to move the rugby ball up to the top of the main stage, about 250 pixels from the left hand side. And to do this, we're going to change the X value in the position and size section of the properties sidebar to 250 pixels. So 250. The rugby ball has moved 250 pixels to the right. And to move this rugby ball to the top, we're going to change the Y value in the position and size section to zero pixels, like so. Now that we've got the rugby ball into place, we can continue on to step 11D. So if we untoggle this pin here, we can see that the rugby ball is moving upwards in a linear fashion, so it's just moving straight. Our preference would be to move the rugby ball upwards in a curved like fashion as that looks more realistic than a rugby ball moving in a complete straight line. At the moment we'll move that playhead back to the beginning, toggle the toggle pin back on and move the playhead back to 0 0.75 seconds. So to begin with, we're going to start with sub-step 1 under step 11D. So on our timeline, under spinning rugby ball, or whatever name you've called your rugby ball symbol, we're going to click on the left section on the timeline. And then sub-step 2 under step 11D, we're going to click on the easing button which is beside the blue toggle pin. So click on the easing button and in sub-step 3 we're going to select ease out and then in this other menu here we're going to select quad. So click on anywhere on the Adobe Edge Animate to get out of that and untoggle this pin and to make sure that the rugby ball is moving up in a curved like fashion we'll just move our playhead to the beginning and then move it slowly back to 0 0.75 seconds so if you haven't noticed the rugby ball is now moving upwards in a curved like fashion like we want it to we'll move the playhead back to 0 toggle the toggle pin back on and then move it back to 0 0.75 seconds. So under position and size section for sub-step 5 we're going to click on the small diamond beside the X which is here and this adds another little keyframe for our X coordinate. So sub-step 7 we're going to shift the playhead to 3 seconds on the timeline. So move this to 3 seconds 
and we're going to move the ball and the sub-step 8 to the top right hand corner and to do this we just click on the rugby ball to make sure it's active and then under the position and size section of the property sidebar we're going to change this x value to 900 the rugby ball should now be in this position here on your stage sub step 9 under step 11d we're going to make sure our toggle pin is back on which it is and then in sub step 10 we're going to shift the rugby ball down to the bottom right hand corner and to do this we'll make sure our rugby ball is active by clicking once on it and then in the position and size section of the property sidebar we're going to change this y value to 570 and so now the rugby ball should be on the bottom right hand corner and sub step 11 under step 11d we're going to click on the top section that appears between 0 and 3 seconds so click on this section and then we'll move over to the easing button and then we'll select ease out and then bounce so click on the timeline here to get out of that and now's a good time to save our progress so on the top left hand corner of Adobe Edge Animate we go over to file and save and also it will be good to preview what we've done so far just to make sure it's working as intended so we go to file and preview and browser and here it is this is our animation so far and if we refresh it again we'll be able to see the rugby ball animate the rugby ball moves up and it falls down and then bounces down to the ground until it reaches a stop in a right hand corner on the bottom and this is what we want so far for step 11 so I thank you for watching this video and I hope you'll work yourself through the remaining few steps in the tutorial.